Yeah, welcome back guys to another YouTube tutorial. It's your boy Sam and today yep, we're creating a Discord bot. So use Discord as a messaging application and you think to yourself, hey, maybe I should make a bot. Now hopefully this tutorial will get you started on the right path to building your own Discord bot using Python. Now the workflow of this video is that we'll start with installing discord.py. After that, we'll create a Discord application and bot. So when we're done with that, what we'll do is that we'll create a Discord guide and that could also be called a Discord server. Now when we're done with the Discord server, then we'll add the bot into the server. And when we've added the bot to the server, finally we'll code the bot. So this is the whole workflow of this tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you're new to this channel, please subscribe to the channel, like the video guys to help me with the YouTube algorithm. and yeah, let's get started. There are several libraries out there to hit Discord's API, each with their own traits, but ultimately they all achieve the same thing. Now, since we're focusing on Python, Discord.py is probably the most popular wrapper for Python. I'm assuming that you already have Python and pip installed. So the next thing you're gonna run is this command, which is pip install discord.py. Now you may be in this category where you don't know if you have pip installed or you for sure know that you do not have pip installed. I'll leave a card above where I explain how to convert a .py file, a Python file, to an executable file. And at the beginning of this tutorial, I actually explain everything that has to do with pip. In the beginning of this video, I explain everything about pip and how to know if you have pip. And if you do not have pip, I also show you how to install it. So if you do not know if you have pip or not, or you know for sure that you do not have pip, go ahead and click the card above, get to that video, watch the intro and everything, make sure you have PIP and you follow all the instructions, then come back to this video and continue. Or maybe you've checked out the video I just talked about and you're back or you already have PIP installed. The next thing we'll do is that we'll have to install discord.py. So the way we do that is we write PIP install discord.py. Now you, I'm sure you guys are asking what was this code right here? This is, I'll leave a card for this too. You can check out this tutorial. This is just how to make a mobile application with Kiwi using Python, of course. So yeah, I'll leave a card for that, but that's not what we're doing today. So I'll click on new project and in here, I'll name my project as Discord, Discord bot. And then we create create on this window. I can use any ID if you want. I just like PyCharm because I love the way the terminal the Python controller and also the interpreter are because it's very easy for me to install any libraries I want. Now that we've created our Discord bot, the next thing I'm just going to right here, create a Python file. I'm gonna call this file just main.py. Nothing too serious, yeah, main.py. Now, the next part is we'll go to this terminal and below right here, this is where I'm going to put pip install discord.py and click enter. And now we can see it's installing. And you can see also everything has been successfully installed. Now, hopefully you've installed discord.py successfully and right now you have access to Discord's API. But before we start getting into coding a Discord bot's version of Hello World, and we all know Hello World, we need to set up some other things, guys. Now, before we get into coding, we need to create a Discord application. This is essentially an application that holds a bot and this can be accessed on Discord. And if you do not have a Discord account, then you're going to have to create one. And please guys, check out the link in the description below. You will see the link to this place where I am, which is discord.com slash developer slash application. So I'll leave a link for that. So you can just click on it, like, subscribe to the channel, help me out with the YouTube algorithm, trying to grow this platform, trying to grow this channel with you guys. So I really would appreciate any help you could do. So yeah, anything is appreciated. And hopefully you're following along because if you are, then you should have exactly what I have in front of me. The next thing we do is we just click on new application. We give it a name. You can call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my first bot. 
you can call it whatever you want we click on create and now we've created our discord bot and i know guys there's a lot of information and settings here but as of right now all we need to care about is the bot setting on the left hand side so we'll go ahead and click on that we then want to click on the add bots button a pop-up will come up asking if we want to tie a bot to your application and you better smash that yes do a button now a bot has been created and it has been attached to the application we're going to need to create a brand new discord server or guide as the api likes to call it so we can drop the bot in to mess around with it right now we have our bot up and running we are going to need to create a new server so we can have a sandbox for the bot you could even add it to an existing server to mess with people if that's what you want and you know what you can be my guest if it comes to doing that creating a server is very simple just click on the plus button on the left hand side when inside of discord you will get prompted with a menu to name your server and you can name your server anything you want but i typically name it after the bot and treat it like a development environment we just need to add the bot to the server and then we can finally dig into the code in order for us to play around with the bot we're going to need to add it to a server this is also a pretty easy step now guys we need to go to the oauth 2 section within our discord application after we enter the oauth 2 section we'll see a screen with a bunch of checkbox and you need to make sure that you click on the box labeled bot after we click on the checkbox a url will appear directly below that so what you need to do is you need to copy the url and paste it into your browser this link allows your bot to join any server that your user has permission to join using oauth 2 so now you should get exactly what i have right here very similar to what i have right here now i want you to go ahead and select the server you just created from the drop down and click on authorize this will drop the bot into your server a message will show up in your server indicating that the bot has joined you'll also see the bot on the users list on the right hand side of your discord interface now that the bot has entered the server we can finally get into coding a basic bot we're going to begin this with importing discord.py this allows us access to discord's api import discord after that we get the client object from discord.py so the way we do that we say bot is equal to discord dot client after that we add event listener from when the bot has has switched from offline to online so we use the at bot dot event And then we use a sync def on underscore ready next we say guild underscore count is equal to zero and now we loop through guild in bot dot guilds not bits bots and I'm going to print and here we're using like a string literal guild.id name
guild.name and this is not a curly bracket this is just a normal bracket and then we say guild guild underscore count is equal to guild underscore count plus one so we're incrementing here and now inside the loop we print inside here we print my first bot is in plus str we need to convert the guild count from integer to string so we can concatenate it guilds so yeah let me just put some comments to explain it right here what we're doing is we create a counter to keep track of how many guilds slash server the bot is connected to now here we loop through all the guilds slash servers i'm just going to call it servers so now we loop through all the servers that the bot is associated with so that's why we have this for loop right here After that, we print the server ID and also the server name. And right here, we increment the guild counter. After that, we print how many. After that, we print how many guild slash server that the bot is in. After we event listen. Add an event listener for now we're going to add an event listener for when a message is sent to the channel and we do that we just say add bot dot event say async def underscore message on message message now we're going to check if the message that has been sent is equal to whatsapp so we just write if message the content is equal to whatsapp Then await message dot channel dot send. Here we say, hey homie. So what we're doing basically here is we send back a message to the channel. So here we're going to execute. We're going to execute the bots with the specified token. So we put bots.run. Now right here, we also need to get our Discord token and you can get yours right here. You just click to reveal token. And this is mine, so I copy it. I will run it. You can see now we get this right here, which says it shows this. It says the name my first bot, and then it says my first bot is in one guild. It shows you my first bot is in one guild. This is the message here my first bot is in. So we're counting it. You see the bot is online, it's no more offline. And if I write what's up, you see it says, hey homie. So we can see that it exactly does what we want. And you can switch it up, you can add some more messages.
can add whatever you want but this is exactly what we wanted our discord bot to do and it's done that so and yeah guys that's it for this tutorial hopefully you learned from it if you did please leave a like that also helps me with the youtube algorithm and it makes other people see this video so would really appreciate that comment down below if you have any questions or if yours is working out and also guys i would like to know what's going on in your coding journey what you're up to what projects you're dealing with and maybe some things you would also want to see on this channel so yeah leave it down in the comments below too yeah, I'm going to wrap this up and I'll see you all in the next YouTube video.